Playing x is clear. Um, staff need more info, which is why we put it in our polite thing. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I'm gonna cheat and. I No, I think I gotta be more honest about this because, like, even though I played it for 10 minutes, like, and I played this game for about an hour or two, and I really hated how on auto combo felt. Love the mustache. Thank you very much, Evan. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, I appreciate you all being here. Y'all think I'm not gonna play that song again? Oh, look, it's one hour. Wait, you guys want to see that I put my tongue out my nose? Back to the tier list. Killer Instinct, essential. Um, I skipped over Dragon Ball Fighter Z, so let's let's go back. But basically, I I play for an hour and a half. I hate the power creeps of the DLC. I, I totally think that it's a super fun game, super cool. But I don't have a ton of nostalgia for Dragon Ball Z. I have a little bit. But, uh, and even DBZ games on like the PS2 and things like that, but it's it's just, uh, I don't know. I'd rather play Guilty Gear, and I also have a hard time with team games, but this is a game that will probably win my heart someday, and if it doesn't, I still consider it pretty cool, and I watch a lot of it. Um, so Killer Instinct, uh, huge Max Million fanboy, so I've obviously got to do it. Um, great netcode. I don't have an Xbox. I didn't play any of the originals on the 64 and stuff like that. I didn't. I, I, it's not a franchise I've ever played. Um, but I am very curious. The monsters look cool, and I like spooky games, and that's probably why we're going to be playing Darkstalkers later. Foster check. I even lean my chair back, so. I, mean, I gotta make that more expensive. Also, tell me when you get annoyed with this song, because I'm just never gonna be. Um. But I, I think it's a game worth playing, so if somebody can get me an Xbox, that's cool. Make it less? No, I can give you something more annoying. Uh, must play. Uh, must King of Fighters. My thing about the King of Fighters series is that I really do love 2002 UM, and we'll probably be playing some 98 on Fightcade later, but... The newer ones don't seem to grab me as much visually or in the personality. And I know that they're still really good games. I've watched them and they're super cool. So when the next one gets rollback, you know, it's probably going to be the game I play a lot. What's up, Big A? What's going on, Gecko? How are you doing, my homies? KOF is sick. If you haven't bought 2002 UM on Steam, you're fucking dummy. Shit's got rollback. All right, I'm actually bored of this. Um, I said it wouldn't happen, but it did. Not a tiger, not a tiger. Um, I was looking into this game a lot last night, the Mortal Kombat series. Um, I love, okay, so a little about me. When I'm not streaming and video games and stuff, I'm a huge true crime person like i love serial killers i've listened to every last podcast on the last episode like two or three times if not more and so it's not like i'm squeamish but the thing is about mortal kombat is it makes me realize i love to fight i don't like to hurt and that doesn't mean i don't want to do super insane moves if someone to fuck them up in a fight but i don't get the like the the gory ripping is like i don't know i like my organs where they are don't find that a thrilling or engaging thing, but still, I love it. Looks great. The combos look cool. Sounds great. And I'd like to say that Rambo is fucking hilarious. I have to show you guys a YouTube video right now. Banana Tiger. Um, Rambo has questions. All right, look at this. doing this why are you looking at me like that you, you like ki or you? just interested Zombies? just interested for now but i definitely or... would like to play so i think it's cool but shot? i've never had a chance to play what it what kind of place is this your hat it's, it's a lethal, lethal weapon? weapon 
Yeah, maybe we should all crowdfund an Xbox and we can do it on stream. So Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite going down here. Uh, looks a little janky. Uh, the roster is not great. Actually, I'm going to put that down into we're checking out. Um, I got it mixed up with three for a second, and I want to say that I think this game does have some redeeming features, and I think Max Million has spoken a lot on his part. Uh, again, wasn't there for the heartbreaks of all these things, but the game visually doesn't look great, uh, and they did a whole lot of fucky shit. I really recommend watching the What Happens. <laughs> Austin, check, man. I don't know, just, just not a game that's captured me, but the thing is about these games, if you see a game in here that you love and you want to defend, pop in here. Like, I'll play the game with you, and my opinion will change. And so you guys are getting... This is the greatest fighting game of all time. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> Jokes aside, uh, Third Strike has everything you love with the, the, the fighting game franchise. Uh, amazing music, characters, art, uh, combos look and sound great uh, when you hit hard. It's crazy when, when the super noise goes off, there's so much tension and uh, it really just made me wanna do this shit, so. Um, I'm gonna put Street Fighter Alpha 2. Uh, at the lower end of uh, Essential. I haven't, actually, yeah, I'll put it there. I, I would have put it at the front here, otherwise, but. Uh, I'm just, I haven't played any of the Alpha games. I'm really curious, I know Alpha 3 is the game, but I'm just as curious as 2, because I know people still play it. Um, and so yeah, it, it's 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 a lot of the same things as other games, but it's just again a lot of this is feel and like my opinion. So yeah, uh, must play or already played. I've been playing this game for a couple months now. I can put that there. Um, it's a really great Street Fighter to get into if you've never played them before. It's absolutely not perfect. Is it great? It's pretty close. Um, the roster could be a little better for me, but it's definitely a lot better than it was at launch. Uh, definitely a stronger game than it has been. And so I don't know. Again, it gets it gets played, but uh, Skullgirls. Um, that's going in my the top of my must play. Uh, super cheap. Uh, one of the uh, fighters that I first really started hearing about and seeing community a couple years ago and definitely unknowingly influential on myself. So, I don't know, I, I think the characters are cool and I think that Sonic Fox is in it, that's cool. We'll definitely, and, and all of these games, you see this, we'll be doing this on stream, like, you know, I'll either, you know, buy the game, like these games are worth buying to me. But like, you buy me this, I'll play it. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like die for it. Uh, S plus essential. We will be playing this later on stream. It is the fighting game. I've only played it for about 10 minutes just to test out the ROM, and I gotta say it's very bare bones and was a little intimidating. But I want to stick it out. Tekken 7, very cool game for me. I have played it a little bit. I have tried in the training mode, but I'd like to say that Tekken is so vast and foreign to other fighting games that even the hour I put in the game, that's nothing. Uh, I found the labs very weird. I found the auto combo very weird. There was no trials. That hurt me. I didn't know there was a TMNT game, but I'm gonna just throw that there. Undernight in birth. That is going up in the essential category for me. Um, definitely one of the most prestigious anime fighters of all time. One of the most bathroom setup games, and it's it's a banger. The music's amazing. I've only heard a few tracks, but I'll probably listen to more. And uh, shit, we've got some really good ones coming up on the two list. Um. You declare it's cool. It, I thought it had uh, good online. Let's play Marvel vs. Capcom on Steam sometime down the line. If you get to do, try Venom just because he's sick. I've also heard that like Virgil and like the DMC crowd are pretty cool. So anyway, I will definitely crowdfund my money. <laughs> I, I lost my job due to the pandemic, but 
you know, like, that's how I got to try Guilty Gear, and so that was pretty cool. Uh, it's got delayed least me netcode. Okay, I thought it had rollback for some reason. Um, this is the game that made me download Fightcade, and the first one was like after it. I love everything about it. It is so spooky. It, the characters are so alive. Vampire Savior in Japan, uh, you know, and it's Darkstalkers here. Absolutely insanely cool. And that's what it is. I'm going to be putting XR D2. Any of the Guilty Gears are in the S plus for me, especially the one coming. I'm so excited, especially if it's going to have good rollback. Um, uh, this is a game for, that when it goes on sale, I'll try to get it or if somebody gets it for me, I'll definitely play it. Uh, uh, Accent Core has stolen my heart a little bit and now I am definitely considering myself a bit of a fan of the series and excited to move forward. Da Dante's in, okay. But Infinite's the one where they remove like half of the sick characters, right? Is this a Full Metal Alchemist thing? Alright, anyway, we're gonna put this in uh, Already Played because I've actually done two videos on YouTube about it, so go check it out. Did you guys see how good my new YouTube video is doing? Sorry to the me that's gonna edit this, but. Sorry, I need it again. This is just, this is, this just makes me so happy. I just love this song. What is this game? Is that a JoJo? If somebody can tell me what that is, I will do it. Yeah, let me zoom in. Maybe make it better on the other end. Alright, let's see here. Oh, I think that's just in raw Japanese, so I'm gonna just say that. Injustice 2? Same kind of feelings about I have about Mortal Kombat, um, but definitely a little bit cooler because all the superheroes. Um, I'm gonna just. Should I order these or should we just raw dog them, or should we order at the end? But anyway, JoJo's. I feel like they're pretty essential. Uh, like I know that there's been some crazy games, and so I, I don't, I don't, I don't know a ton. I just know that they're super broken characters, especially like, you know, for broken characters. You know, like there's like the bird character who can just shut you down. What are they called? HF, TF, two. I don't recognize you. Okay, this game is going up here just so you fuckers buy it and play it with me. Download Fight Game. Whoa. Download Fight Game. Get this, this, and this, and these two, and we should play together. But, uh, 2002 UM, I I'm not even going to put it in the, in the already. Uh, I will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respect the list, but, you know, it is, it is an amazing game. Uh, huge roster. Huge huge soundtrack the stages are great and by that i mean like uh, all the geographic places uh, are pretty varied pretty cool and all the accompanying themes uh, actually vary quite a bit and make things really memorable shout out especially the you can't see your mouse oops all right well i will keep that in mind but uh, i'm gonna put this in uh Ah, shit, I pointed to a bunch of stuff. Okay. Alright, well, I'll just... I, I can fix that later. But King of Fighters 98, a game I actually haven't played yet. I'm just gonna... This is actually only a must-play for me, I think. But 98 is definitely an essential game. Okay, there's two versions of KOF 98, so, like... One of them is going in the need more info. Yeah, no, I'll just go without it, huh? Um, all right, we're almost done. Uh, more weed games that I don't know. Melty Blood. Uh, I don't really understand the history of Melty Blood as much as I will. I actually get it, make these 
I actually get it mixed up a lot with Undernight and Birth. I look quite frequently. Um, before this last couple months, every anime fighter was the same to me. I know it's blasphemous, but I need to research more about these games and put some respect on them. And you know, um, I'm gonna say that Super Smash Brothers Melee is a game that I've definitely played. I've put a dozen hours into it on stream, even just in. Uh, playing through Slippy. Uh, please support this game as we fight with Nintendo. <sighs> Sorry, I got a little lost there. Uh, I don't recognize this game at all. Mortal Kombat. Don't even know which one that is. It'll just go in the filter pile. Mortal Kombat X. A worth checking out game, but why would I not just play this one, which I'm already not dying to play? Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. That's uh, that's going on. That's going in there. I think that might actually be the top of that tier. Uh, I hope you guys saw that tournament that uh, Maximilian Dude did, and there was Tasty Steve, me, so many great community figure members, and it just felt so good to see a tournament like that especially during all this shit during COVID it's just so nice I, you guys know the deal uh, Persona 4 Ultimax I am a huge Persona fan uh, I found 3 and played it back on the PSP when I was in ninth grade um, so Yeah, I would have been like 13, 14, and it was just the perfect game. The music's amazing, and it's a little rough now. I'd love if it got a remaster and shit like that. But, you know, uh, bought Persona 4, never finished it. Tried to play it through on the CRT in the original versions a couple times. Had troubles finishing it um, back in the day, and then I picked it up and still didn't keep me. So I'm going to try playing through Golden on stream. Uh, probably after Christmas, and of course, a huge Persona fanboy. You know I made Joker in Smash Ultimate. I've got to play this. Ah, I'm just fucking around. That's not... That's not happening. It's just not. Project M. Not a game I've actually played yet, despite being a huge Smash person. It getting shut down kind of hurt. But, again, it's Smash made by fans. It's handmade, lovingly crafted, hated by Nintendo. Turns me on. How does, it, how, do, how does hard work and love not make you happy? Pokemon Tournament? Where does this one go, chat? Where would you put this? Cause like I'm here, I'm more curious than I want to play. I'm thinking it's a, I'm thinking it's a pretty weak. Like it might be here for me. Does anyone want to argue it for it being higher or lower? Poking bad, yeah. I kind of figure, but I am sick and. I am a sick fuck, I'm curious. Power Rangers. I guess we're checking out, at the very least. Like, I, I don't know, it seems to... SMK Fighters, super sick. We'll be playing some through the fight cage here. What's going on with my friend, Mr. EMP? If uh, anyone else is here, you don't already follow him, you need to get on that, one of my favorite streamers. Uh, Punch Planet. Uh, Again, games that I don't know a lot about, but I saw in a Corey gaming video, so. Yeah, I'm gonna. Power Rangers has rollback? Is that real? Is that an honest to god fucking fact? Are you serious that this game actually has rollback? Yeah, and Pokin absolutely got murdered by Smash, and then Nintendo, like, stepped on his course. So, what a fucked up time. Alright, this got rollback.
if you get if you have rollback, you go up a, like a whole tier, like and a like a tier and a half. People actually play those Power Rangers games. Okay, yeah, I've heard, I've heard that kind of thing. So I've heard it's simple and fun, and if you're a fan of the series, then why not, right? And if it has rollback, then. Uh, Rivals of Ether, not a game I've played for more than ten minutes, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cheat and put it in the already played tier. But I can tell you, it's something again, the exact same things about Project M. Like, and I hate I do hate when every time something bad happens with Nintendo and the community's like, we should play Rivals instead, and it's like, yeah, we definitely should. Is that gonna happen? Does any part of you think that's gonna happen? So, man, this more info needed tier. We should just throw the rest of them in there. I actually am not that. Yeah, that, 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 I think that is better for me. Okay, I'm also just trying to dump these. Uh, I don't recognize. Like, again, if you guys know these games, feel free, but. Smash Ultimate, I have definitely already played. I'm PR in my city. Um, Smash 4 is a bad game, and I hate it. It's actually fine, it's good, and if you like it, then it's fine, whatever. I don't care. I just wasn't there, and I can't. I just, if it came out today, it wouldn't make me excited. Uh, Samurai Showdown, super prestigious series. Super prestigious series, big punishes, um, like playing chess with instant death. Oh, we're, we're getting down to the final thing. Any, any, is there any big surprises here, Chad, or anything that makes you want to vomit? How do you feel about my taste so far? Would we be best friends? Samurai Showdown special. I don't know the differences. So I'm gonna just... I'm, I wanna throw one Sam Show game in there to like show that I actually do care about it. I am curious, I just... And this is obviously gonna go ahead of... Uh... Hmm. Go ahead of Super Turbo. Oh my god, sorry, I just fucking kicked the shit out of that microphone. I gotta, I gotta do a little rearranging. I think that looks better. Street Fighter Plus? Unsure. Super Smash Brothers 64? You know that I've already played that. Chaotic ass game. Put tech into the top and let's play. Definitely in a future stream, pal. Um, I don't know that Tekken. I know that these Tekkens are pretty big, but I gotta find out if people still play them and if they're still worth going back for. And obviously we're still gonna go back for them. I just like, I kind of like, again, some of these franchises you'll notice, like I only have like, Sometimes it's just easy to get into the newest one or the most successful and then kind of work from there. And it doesn't mean that I don't care. What the fuck is this? Is that... What is this? It's so... JPEG. Alright, you're getting skipped. Them fighting herds. Uh, goes at the top and not thrilled. Uh, good net code, cool characters. Not ever gonna be it, it's it's gonna struggle to be anything more than a brony game, even if it is a great fighting game on its own. Um, it's not like I could randomly start streaming that as my main game and have it go well. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter Four. Uh, technically, I've already booted it up and played, but not a game I'm insane about. Uh, I think that Elena is super fucked, and I think that there's tons of characters in that game that are just so non-essential. A uh, virtual fighter. 
definitely going into a bit higher of the must plays. And for me, it's just because it's one of those uh, franchises that gets a lot of respect and has been around for a long time. It's super influential, and I want to give it its respect. Pocket Rumble, IDK Dog. There, if you haven't played footsies, that is a very funny game to watch. I've been watching other videos for Punk and stuff like that, but uh, memes aside, it's going down here. But it is a super cheap game, has good rollback. I'm starting to fail to see the problems here. Like, unironically a good game. A Street Fighter 4 Remix. Don't really have that. I guess that's Ultra, but... An Ultra is more powerful than a Remix. I don't understand, but... Alright, chat. So, let's, uh... This is my list. What do you think? These are the fighting games I would like to play. And how I kind of feel about different franchises and different iterations. I feel like I've given good uh, good enough reasons for most of them. Tekken is too low. I can bump it ahead of these two. Because my thing about Project M is it'll just make me sad. But, uh, yeah, was there any big surprises, Chad, or still too low? This is the theoretical highest I could put Tekken. If I had a character I really wanted to play in Tekken, it would be easily here or higher. I am doing a little rearranging chat. I'm trying to order a little. So yeah, that's uh 